I'm Dr. Annette, and I love to help people just like you find the energy to do the things they love to do with the people they love to do it with. And I use ketones to do that. So it's no secret. I'm the keto girl. I love talking about ketones and I love to help other people figure out how to improve the quality of their life through ketones. So ketones, ketosis, all of those things. So when, um, um, yeah, I know Connie, you've been having some terrible problems with your internet there. Sorry to hear that, but it'll be there so you can watch it later. So, um, sorry, I, uh, wanted to talk about the two questions that people ask me most frequently about ketones. So when people decide they're going to do a ketogenic lifestyle, even if they're going to use um, like a ketone supplement, like the one I use, or if they're just going to do the ketogenic diet on its own, it's so funny because it's people, they want to ask, is it okay if I drink beer or can I still have a glass of wine or something like that? And they're always afraid to ask me, like I'm going to look down on them or something. But let me tell you, I've experimented with a little bit of stuff myself. So don't feel like you're being a bad person or doing something naughty for asking those questions because who doesn't every once in a while just need to have a glass of wine or two, you know, or my husband, he likes to drink a little bit of beer. He likes to maybe have a, um, a whiskey and water. So there's ways that you can do things while doing a ketogenic lifestyle that still keep you in a state of ketosis. They still allow you to get all the benefits of being in a state of ketosis and still enjoy some of those things in life that you feel like you might miss out on. So honestly, the ketogenic lifestyle has been the best, easiest, most popular uh, lifestyle change that I have made ever in my life. My grandkids like it, my daughter likes it, my husband likes it, my family, everybody in my family has gotten on board and they're all totally okay with it. And I'm telling you what, I have a lot of food sensitivities and gluten is one of them. So I basically learned that if I stay away from grains completely, I feel much better. And my family was struggling to understand why gluten was such a problem for me. Not that they didn't want to help. They just didn't know. They didn't get where gluten was, how many foods it was in and how easy it was for me to get gluten in my diet. And then gluten really messes me up for like a month. It really makes me feel bad. So Christmas and Thanksgiving and all of those things were such a challenge because my entire family was trying to figure out how to make everything gluten free. But now that we're all on a keto plan, Nobody's worried about making it gluten free because keto is gluten free and it's made my life so much easier because everybody that knows me and loves me knows that I can't have gluten, but if they're doing keto, we don't have to worry about it. And they always make sure that they have good keto friendly foods on hand for me to use. And I'm going to admit something to you. I've been known to mix a little vodka, a little vodka with my ketones. I've been known to do that. Um, it's okay. You can do that. Just mix it with water and then add a little bit of vodka to it. You can do it. It's okay. You know, you're going to a barbecue and everybody else is going to be drinking and you're trying to stay in a state of ketosis and you're trying to be serious and you want to be good. Um, you can have a couple of local, have a glass of dry wine. Don't go for the sweet stuff, you know, stay away from the, the fruity sweet wines, but you can have a glass of Merlot or Pinot or Cab. If you're a wine drinker, you know what those terms mean. Or you can get some ketones and you can mix it with your ketones. And I'm telling you what, people will be like, what are you drinking? That looks delicious. It's um, the lime flavor is great with a little bit of vodka. And my friend Rose was making um, keto mojitos with it. Um, also, I've seen people make um, keto margaritas with it as well. So, you know, get a little creative, but think outside the box and don't always feel like you're doing without something because being on a ketogenic lifestyle should actually be better and more rewarding and more flavorful and more satisfying than any lifestyle you've ever tried. So 
that's like my two cents on the whole, can I still have alcohol or adult beverages while I'm on the keto diet? And the answer is yes. Just have to modify things just like everything else. And once you figure out how to make those modifications in your life, everything else gets a whole lot easier. So there's a few modifications that you have to make, but once you start to figure those things out, everything's going to go smooth. So the second question people ask when I talk about keto is what the heck is keto? And I've answered that many, many times, but since we're talking about, can I have alcohol on a keto diet? I thought some of those people that were interested in finding out more about it, that might've been one of their stopping points as to why they didn't want to do it because they thought they couldn't. But um, a ketogenic lifestyle is basically a lifestyle where you eat a very low carbohydrate diet and you add healthy fats back in and you eat a moderate level of protein. It's not like the Atkins diet. You don't gorge on meat all day long. You're actually eating a reasonable amount of meat. You're still eating vegetables. You can still have salads. You can still have the occasional uh, berries because you want to have um, high fiber, high nutrient foods. So leafy greens, broccoli, cauliflower, berries like blueberries, and blackberries and raspberries, things like that are absolutely allowed in reason. And you can still have nuts like macadamia nuts and almonds and uh, the occasional cashews, they're kind of high in sugar, but um, you just have to pay attention to how many carbs you're eating per day. You wanna keep your carb content less than 100 for sure, 100 grams, but if you're really serious about it, you wanna keep it less than 50 and sometimes less than 20, depending on your goals. So you keep those carbohydrates very low and you add in healthy fats. And what I typically tell people is to eat vegetables, like half of your plate in vegetables, dark leafy green vegetables, the ones I just mentioned, and then have um, three to six ounces of protein, some sort of meat, and it should be a high fat protein. So you can have chicken with the skin on, you can have ribeye steaks. Sometimes I eat bratwurst, um, all the things you've been avoiding. Sometimes I put bacon on my chicken um, and we wrap jalapenos with uh, bacon and put cream cheese in them and add additional fats to your meal. Make sure that you're getting coconut oil and avocados and nuts. You can use nut oils. You can use now peanuts are not a nut. So don't use peanut oil. Sorry, my phone's making noise. Um, so anyway, the keto diet is where you eat very low carbs and higher fat and moderate protein. It's not a high protein diet. So if you're thinking, woohoo, beer and chicken wings, you're kind of off the off the beaten path there a little bit. But you can also you can also go for a supplement to help raise your level of ketones. And then you can actually um, stay in a state of ketosis, even though you might have cheated just a little bit. So it's there for a crutch. It's kind of nice to have that. And of course, all of the benefits of being in ketosis, energy, fat loss, focus, better sleep, better mood, better appetite control, better skin, better digestion, better um, muscle, you save your muscle. Um, let's see what else. Um, better recovery after workouts, better workouts in general. And the energy that I get is a nice, clean, all day long energy. I don't ever feel like taking a nap and I have the energy to do the things that I want to do. And I just love sharing with other people about keto and ketones and ways that you can be healthy by following this lifestyle because it's been such a such an important part of who I am and what I do. So thank you so much for watching. If you're, uh, if you're following this, if you're watching this on the replay, please tell me where you're from. If you've ever heard of ketones, if you're, what's your favorite alcohol beverage. So if you're, um, what's your favorite low carb adult beverage? What's your favorite low carb adult beverage? I'd love to find out. And if you found something that really works well that um, you'd love to share with everybody, don't be afraid to give us a, a recipe or a tip or a picture of what your favorite thing is. I sometimes use the um, 
the White Claw, or there's several brands now. There's truly several brands of the uh, the spiked seltzer water. They have five or less grams of carbs, and they're woo, they're kind of potent. So you have to drink those kind of slow because I've had several of those in one day before and been kind of like, whoa, I'm a little drunk. So um, that's always fun to uh, share what you find. So if you found an alcoholic or not alcoholic, but an alcohol beverage that's for adults only that you find that you really, really like, tell us what your favorite one is. Where do you get it? How do you find it? All of those things so that we can all uh, be part of the fun. So today is gorgeous in Florida. We actually just, um, the hurricane has moved away and it's gorgeous outside. So guess what? I'm going to go to the post office and drop off some things and I'm probably going to work from outside today. So thanks for watching. It's Keto 123 with Dr. Annette. We'll be back tomorrow at 1030 a.m. If you have any questions or if you know anybody that would benefit from any of this information, you know what to do. Send them to the broadcast and have them comment, like, and share. Thanks. I hope you have a great day.